you. Youth. Youth represent our future. Youth is one of society's main agents of change and progress. So today, as a youth, I voice the importance of permanent bike lanes along Young Street as it promotes safety and accessibility. My name is Stephanie Yan, I live in Scarborough, and I'm a grade 12 student attending Dr. Norm Bethune Collegiate Institute. As a president of the Toronto Youth Environmental Council, our organization is a youth-led nonprofit founded in 2013 that strives to empower youth to become environmental leaders in their own lives. Coming from a suburban community in Scarborough, I travel to downtown by either driving along the DVP or taking the subway. In my experience, parking downtown is often tricky to find and can be costly, making public transit the preferred option. However, with recent attacks on the TTC, I do live with a slight fear of commuting downtown Toronto. Therefore, bike lanes that reflect the Young Line one would be extremely beneficial to those cases like mine as it provides another cost-friendly and sustainable solution. Jess Speaker, she had an accident in 2015 while riding her bike in Toronto as she was hit by a driving SUV. Now she lives with chronic pain, neurological issues, depression, and anxiety. Story like Jess's indicate that life-threatening injuries, dep um, depression, uh, emotional trauma, all stem from the lack of bike uh, protection while biking. With no lane dedicated to bikers on these bustling streets, they are left vulnerable and at risk to accidents and death. Yet, I do believe there is hope for Toronto. If we look at places around the world, the Netherlands has built an incredible biking culture. Montreal, another urban city, plans to expand by adding 200 kilometers more by 2027. This serves as a reminder that it's key to implement sustainable transportation to drastically cut down our greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. Yes, change is difficult. The traffic congestion that many go through is very valid, but there are other ways to solve this and is not through sticking to our old habits. We are living in a climate crisis where our future is being threatened as we now speak. Therefore, we must seek to use our resources and think long term, which means making bike lanes along Young Street permanent for citizens. A question we should all be asking is how will we accomplish this amb these ambitious goals of net zero by 2040 plan if we are encouraging drivers and scaring off cyclists? We need all of you to collectively decide and steer our beloved city in a positive direction. And again, as youth, we are urgently demanding a future that is filled with promises and more importantly, results of sustainable transit. Thus, bike lanes along Young Street will play a significant, significant role in meeting local, national, global goals while providing people with a safe and happier way of commuting. Thank you. Thank you for your deputation. Are there questions of the deputant? Okay, thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much.